All right, adventurers. <laughs> Welcome to all play. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. Okay, let's let's act like let's act like nothing happened. Can we do that? Let's act like nothing happened. Uh, I want to play Cozy Grove because it's been sitting in my Steam wish list for a long, long time, uh, and I'm finally getting around to playing it. Uh, from what I've heard, it's very much like Animal Crossing. I'm not sure how much that means as far as gameplay goes, but I do know it's a game where the game is constantly playing, even when you're not there. I know that's from Animal Crossing. Um, and it's not a game that you really want to sit and grind out. You want to play like an hour or two a day. So this is me attempting <laughs> to bring something back to this channel. We're going to play... We'll play. We'll play for a little while. I won't. I won't. I won't say any time. We'll play until I get tired, and then we'll pick up again tomorrow. Oh, save slots. I've not played this. I know very little about this game. If you want me to be super honest with you. Welcome to Spirit Scouts, or welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Oh, we're gonna make us. We're gonna make me. I'm not, it's, it's not about. It's not about y'all. It's about me. Uh, we're gonna make. We're gonna make. Um, me. I'm gonna make a person that looks as much like me as I. I think I look. I think I'm right about. Ooh. Somewhere between these two. I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, my eyes. Uh, I know which eyes I want. I'm just moving between all of them to see the names because I kind of like kind of like names let's go with let's go with shadow black eyes oh we got the hair this is the fun part uh the hair what's my hair currently my hair currently is a big afro but when I when I style it it's something it's it's, it's a little it's got a little bit of this action Let's go with that. My mom gave me this haircut. Never mind. We're moving on. We're not picking that one. <laughs> we'll pick it. We'll go with that one. Looking good. And now it's time to begin your camping trip. Oh, man. This game telling on me already. I didn't think it was going to do that. <laughs> it's telling the exact day and time I'm playing this. Oh, Lord. I guess the clock is running for me to upload this to YouTube. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be uh, self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun, and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Alright, let's get to work. I'm playing uh, mouse and keyboard if it wasn't... I'm sorry, not mouse and keyboard. I'm playing with a controller if it wasn't obvious. I don't play a lot of games with controller anymore. Uh, so it's nice to... Nice to have this as an option. What does it want me to do? Uh, let's see. If I press... Nope. If I press... Oh, stand near Empress and press A. Oh, we started a fire. Cough, cough, cough. How old are the starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. Is that the fire? Oh, I guess it is the fire. So, where have you brought us this time? Uh, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove? I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures tossed into my embers. I sent dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? I think so. Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. 
Are we here to help? Oh, the fire seems bright. I'm Scout Rank 1. All right. Oh, I see the ghost. Do I talk to it? Oh, it's a ghost for real. Huh. Another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger. Also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours, it looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Uh... <laughs> That's right, 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? A problem? Hmm. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. All right, so let's go find, oh, we're friends. Uh, let's go find a log. Charlotte said to find a log. We gon' find a log. Is this it? Oh, I guess that's it. And then throw it? How do I? What would you like to do? Uh, here's a log for you. Hey! This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? Uh, go tell me about it. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah! That spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of this island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new. A crafter of useful things. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? If you see more spirit wood, if you see if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. All right, let's go find some more wood. Those are some spooky boys over there. Um, I imagine since I'm playing at night, it's gonna be nighttime the entire time I'm playing, which is gonna make this interesting. I'm gonna have to play before work, I guess. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be finding spirit wood. I'm definitely finding coins. It's all about the, it's all about the money. What are those? Oh, they ran away. Or they disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. Oh, I guess you could see me. So sorry. I figured I'd be invisible. Uh, you're sorry for what? For haunting a perfectly good island. This, the last thing I want is to drift about around the afterlife glowing blue getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself it's unseemly until i figure out why i'm stuck here i'm afraid i'll be haunting us both maybe i can make it up to you maker buddy not to brag but i'm pretty handy as goes go bring me three branches okay i promise i'll make it worth your while all right let's find us some branches they really don't like me that's wild Okay, so we need to find more logs, and we need to find three branches. I see one branch there. This one. 
I kind of I kind of like how it blends in with the world so it's not like I have to like I legit have to look I can't just <laughs> I can't just be like okay there's one there's one there's one if <laughs> nope I gotta actually look for it this is, that's kind of clean I like that all right so we got three branches let's take it back to good old Jeremy Uh, why? No, oh, I guess it's like oh, that's not why at all. Oops, oops. Let's try to go. Why? And then A. Okay, there we go. Look at these sticks. What beauties! A twist here, a scoop there, and voila, your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. I like how you did that. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. All right. Shout out to Jeremy. Alright, so I have a shovel and a spirit log. Or a spirit wood. Let's go ahead and bring that bad boy back. After we pick up the gold. <laughs> it's been a minute. That red one though. What's that red one? Alright, let's throw this let's throw this bad boy on the fire and see what happens. Is are the trees ghosts too? Cause I'm kinda walking through everything. Throw this bad boy on the fire. Here's a log. Well done. My light is expanding again. I see. I now see. An old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. He looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Alright, so I got two directions I can go in this time, I guess. I'm Scout Rate 3, baby. We out here getting achievements. Oh, the tutorial's over? <laughs> Is that what that was? The tutorial's over. Okay, so let's see. There was a dirt mound somewhere. Is that what this is? Let me see. If I press this, and then this, and this. Now, was, now I'm holding it. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what this is. Dirt mound. We found us a rock. It's a, Oh, it's a potato. We got the potato. Let's talk to uh, Charlotte here. <laughs> Uh, what would you like to do today? Uh, can I help you? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles? Excuse me. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day I saw, thought I saw an old book peeking out of one of the leaves. Noted. Uh, leaf piles. I kinda gotta guess what a leaf pile looks like. <laughs> let's see. Alright, let's see. Let's explore a little bit. This is the... Is this... This is the... Wow, that is a fox. I did not see that whole fox there. Oh, that's Mr. Kit. Okay, cool. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen to quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me, I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agree- I just realized it never had me name my character. I have a standing agreement with the spirit scouts you know. Whenever you go, wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the prices. Oh, cool. Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. A fishing rod. Goodbye for 20 coins. I got 41. Uh, guess what we're gonna do? We buying it. 
Sounds great. Take my money. All right, cool. So we got a fishing rod. Let's see. Um, I need to look out for these leaf piles. I don't know what what they look like. And we got a new friend. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I spent, I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. <laughs> it's kind of clean. And now I am transformed. Huh. A vast young person, how long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weather Snout, though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Uh, pleased to meet you, Bill Weather. I don't know as we've reached our first name basis, young sailor. Captain will do. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, a love for a fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. Oh, guess what? We got us a fishing rod. Hey, sailor, that'll do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to plug it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Alright, so I guess we're going to learn how to fish. Uh, let's see. If I press X and come down here and hold that, now I'm holding the fishing rod. Let's go fishing. Oh, this is Animal Crossing for real. How do I... Ooh. Oh, okay. Hold RT. Which one is it? <laughs> I'm so old. Hold RT. Aim with this and release. Oh, okay. So I want to put it in the direction that I wanted to go. Okay, got it. Oh, reel it in. Wait till it bites hard. Okay, got it. Oh, this is not go... <laughs> I've purposely avoided playing Animal Crossing on the channel, except for, um, a long, long time ago. <laughs> for this very reason, y'all better not pick on me. Y'all better not pick on me. <laughs> Let's see. Oops, wrong button. So I hold this. Oop. Okay, so I can reset it if I think I've thrown it too far. Hey, hey, there we go. Hey, we got a mud sucker. Is that what it's called? Yep, it's called a mud sucker. Do I not have? Oh, I guess I got a lot of space. That's just like my my quick, quick, quick something. My quick items. Yay! Hey, we got a collapsed lungfish. Let's go. Yeah, that's where the rest of my items go. Okay, let's take these back to a uh, good old captain and see what's up. Uh, oh, I don't want to pick them up. I don't want to talk to the captain. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you give me the one you've got or catch a new one. I'll be waiting. Uh, so do I want, I guess I want to come right here. It's an uncommon fish. That's a common fish. Let's switch. So if I talk to the captain, switch to that, and I get, oh, I, I guess I didn't have to switch it. Let's give him the collapsed lung fish since it's more common. God, I gotta learn the difference between X and Y. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ah, a fine fin you manage, uh, you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out at sea, 
My boat did what? Oh, yes. A uh, loose knot in a fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes, churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans you had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears ain't even... We bears aren't... <laughs> I like this voice, I'm not gonna lie. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We your neighbors. Squawk! Appreciate you, Captain. <laughs> you got me talking like him. Appreciate you, Captain. I get that go. I'm, I'm, I'm a little invested. I don't want this to be another game where I stay up until midnight playing it. But we, we gotta make, we gotta make some progress on, on our first day here in the cozy grove. If we take this, if we take this back to the fire, we talk to, to a little flamey. Uh, what? I got clothes. <laughs> Here's a log, flamey. Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. Since someone has a log, they're eager to give you if you can help them. Uh, do I have a map? There's Charlotte. There's Flamey on the end of the lawn. Oh, someone, I think I spotted it in here. A skull tied to a stake. It'll probably be under the leaf pile. Okay, a skull tied to a stake. Let's find that. Maybe that'll help me find the leaf pile. Or figure out what a leaf pile looks like. A skull tied to a stake. This was the book she was talking about. A skull tied to a stick. If y'all see it before me, don't embarrass me, all right? <laughs> don't embarrass me. I had a long day at work. A skull tied to a snake, a stake. That's a skull, but it's not tied to a stake. Don't embarrass me. I had a long day, and this is a very calm game. I need you to be on my side. A skull tied... Y'all done, done found it already. <laughs> Y'all done found it and I have no idea where it is. A skull tied to a stake. And then it's in a nearby leaf pile. This ain't it, right? This ain't it. Let me get my shovel. Can I? Oops. How do I? Here we go. Let's put this here. I don't really need to carry the potato on me. And then we'll put you here. Alright, so give me my shovel. Is this a leaf pile? Oh no, this is not a leaf pile. This is a a regular thing. I got another potato. Okay. I can't just dig anywhere. I can only dig in specific spots. Okay. Understood. The skull... It's a skull near a a skull on a stake is what I'm looking for. Oh, I found it. Okay, that's the skull on the stake. Man, y'all done made I know y'all done made fun of me. That's the skull on the stake and then the leaf? Is this a leaf pile? No, is this a leaf pile? This isn't this is not a leaf pile. What's a leaf pile? <laughs> What's a pile of leaves look like in this game? It's a nearby leaf pile, right? That's what it said. Buried under a leaf. I think I spotted it near a skull tied to a stake. Buried under a leaf pile. Near a skull. Is that a leaf? Is that it up there? This ain't it. This ain't it. Wait, this is a leaf pile. Okay. We did it. I thought, I was like, yo, this is a leaf pile. 
and then I realized we passively found the way in. There we go. Plenty of things. Um, let's head back to Charlotte. This is pretty dope. This is this is very like low stakes, and that's what I need sometimes. I don't need to play all these heavy action games. <laughs> low stakes is is fun sometimes. That's it. Why? It's an old spirit scout's wilderness guide. Sometimes these sentences feel like it's just words. <laughs> and hey, the memento collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress, helping local spirits. Which, I have to admit, you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, that's the spirit. That's gross. <laughs> that's gross. Here it is. Uh, Charlotte Pine. We've got three of her 17 spirits. This, oh no, three of the 17 spirits. These are the three people. they are the three. Uh, Charlotte Pine. And then Jeremy Gruffle. And Captain Bill Weather Snout. Oh, there's someone else in the shore, and then there's six, uh, there's four more in the forest. Let's see if we can, oh, view the memories. I kind of don't want to view the memories, at least not just yet. I want to look at it all at once, I guess. That's dope. Okay, appreciate you. All right, let's throw that wood in the fire. Let's throw that wood in the fire. Yay! Ah! Another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah! My light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure, absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Go ahead and spark some else up on you. There we go. We're at rank four. Oh, there's pears on the tree. I wonder if this is an Animal Crossing thing, too. I wonder if that's a... <laughs> If different games have different fruit, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. This doesn't seem like the game where I connect with other players, but I wonder if that's a thing. Let's talk to Charlotte. Uh, let's 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 get a bunch of missions on our on our belt. You know, we aren't the only spirits that can use your help. Sometimes, lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Alright, so let's go, uh, let's, let's talk to Mr. Kit real quick. I want to buy something. I'm gonna buy this charm. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I wanna buy something else. <laughs> 250 old coins. Okay, that's fine. So it's a mission. Like I said, we're, we're stockpiling missions. Uh, we definitely can't do that right now. We have what? Is there a way I can see how much money I have? Oh, it's at the bottom left. 31. We're nowhere near. Let's talk to Jeremy again. Hey there, maker buddy. I'm sh pretty sure I owe you an apology. I said I'm pretty sure you don't. I hate to say you're wrong, but you're wrong. I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me... Oh, he's the one that wants to help people. Uh, hoping a good deed would get me out of the being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, first, though, I'm gonna need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Oh, I have two roots. And I have two branches. Uh, let's get to work. We gotta, we gotta do some digging. So that's, is that enough? Oh, no. Yeah. Three roots, but I need three more branches. Okay. I need 
to my branch. Let's just talk to Captain for a minute. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows queen clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Alright, Captain, I got gotcha. you. I'll find you some feathers, Captain. I'll find you some feathers, Captain. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Oh, how many does he need? Uh, five. Okay. So here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Not a hard task at all. I need to find more branches as well. So let's get to finding. Like this. this is this is very low stakes. You know what? I'm gonna play this consistently. <laughs> I'm gonna let this one ride for a while. It probably won't be every day. Uh, they did say this is a game to play every day, and I probably won't play it every day. But I probably will play it very consistently. This be this could be like my my wind down game. And unfortunately, this means that you guys are also going to uh, <laughs> you're gonna get used to my schedule. It's going to be a lot of games played at night. Or very early in the day. Let's see. It's raining now? That's wild. Uh, what have I? Uh, backpack. I'm t I, like I said, I haven't played a, a lot of games with controllers lately. I'm trying to get used to it. So I got enough. No, I need one more feather. I need... Move this over here. I'll need... What? Come. Go. What? what? Get over here. Go. Let me move this up here. I thought it said I had enough roots. Do I not? Did this thing lie to me? I guess not. I guess we're good. Is it counting? It's not counting mushrooms as a root, is it? Or maybe the potatoes. There we go. Potatoes are roots. Okay, got it. I was gonna say that's not accurate at all. That's not correct at all. All right, that's all of our feathers for Captain. For Captain. <laughs> it's a rock. Oh no, it's a, it's not a rock. That is a a seashell. Move that bad boy over here. Here we go. All right, Captain. Uh, let's talk to you. Feathers. I had to think, what what am I doing? What are we doing with this man? Alright, let's give him the captain. Uh, how do I give him the... Oh. Why? There we go. Squawk! That's a fine set of feathers! But why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Uh... You give me a quest, I do it, you reward me. That's the way this works. Ooh, a pragmatist with a touch of sass. You do, you'll do well on these shores, sailor. With these bits of fluff padding my coat, the wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot refeather your wings. Captain, that's a little, uh, it's a little depressing. We did not come here to be depressed tonight, Captain. How about we get one of these, one of these, uh, uh, residents of Cozy Grove. How about we get one of them up to a full heart? And then that's where we can call it. That's where we can call it. I'm enjoying this. But I, I don't want to play too much. We gotta, we gotta save more. I gotta come back tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta come back tomorrow. Oh, it's not even like automatic time wise. I can, I can have exactly how much I want. That's dope. Hey, let's go. It's a milkfish. I got that milkfish, baby. Alright, can I go? Oh. 
Let's see. Give me back my shovel. Who told you to move my shovel? I think I need to sell these. Rough Venus, rough. Uh, I think I need to sell those, and that's how I'm gonna get enough gold. Cause baby, <laughs> we're not doing so hot in the money department right now. Um, hmm. what did I need to do? I think I just need to talk to Captain again, but we're not gonna talk to Captain right now. We're still looking for those branches. Give me that. There we go. We're still looking for branches. <laughs> Is a rock. Oh, oh, quartz gemstones. That sounds like something you sell when you want to have money. Hey, Mr. Kit, I want to sell stuff. Shh, it's not gonna let me sell it. Let me see. I think it's just because it's equipped. Yeah, valuable treasure gem. That sounds. That sounds like I'm gonna get a lot of money. What? It's not gonna let me sell it. Gross. Alright. It's another ghost. It's another ghost bear. Do I have more ghost bear voices? <laughs> Patrice Furback, the postal bear, at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Ooh, boasting out the postal humor for the jump. You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. Deliveries for local residents arrived at the postal, at the town post office, or... Uh, Oh, 800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up whenever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals. But I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. Oh, so now it's my job to go find these packages. All right. I'm here for it, you know. We 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 helping out our our ghostly friends. We helping our ghostly friends right on along. Let's see. Oh snap! I just learned how to run. <laughs> I just learned how to run. Uh, oh coin. Where? Don't. Oh, I picked it up. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a leaf pile. Is that enough sticks? It's not enough sticks or branches. We need more branches. Yeah, I need one more branch. Okay. I gotta remember all the different things I can do. That's what's making this hard. Is I gotta remember what I can do and what things look like. That's 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 probably what's making it hard. And it's not it's not the game. It's me. It's because it's eleven. What time is it? It's eleven eleven at night. Make a wish. Let's see. We're looking for more of those. Oh, we do this. There we go. We got it. Now, who was this one? Oh, Jeremy. Let's go find Jeremy. Jeremy's right here. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered. And I bet you're wondering, what sort of tool is he going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting bench is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn recipe. Then you can bring the ingredients to me and get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Great. Let me show you to my workshop. Hey. Let's see. So we got hardwood, softwood, semi-precious gems. Precious gems. Gold ingots, silver ingots, normal skipping stones. Uh, pro skipping stone, elite skipping stone, a common log cabin chair, 
a common log cabin table, a planter, and a fence, and a... What? Oh. <laughs> I'm so confused. I was like, wait, what? Uh, okay. It's past my bedtime. All right. My only question is... I'm guessing I don't want to build these for me. I want to build these for other people. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, wait. He's giving me recipes, though. Plenty of recipes. In softwood and hardwood. All right. He's loading me up. How do I... Oh, recipe here. Uh, do I... I guess I want to learn it, right? Hey. All right. Okay, but do I have a home to put this in? Okay, okay, this is I think we've hit overload point now now I'm overloaded with with things Let's throw some fire in the in the in the let's throw some logs in the fire <laughs> Delicious only four more logs before I'm full. I sense a log in your bag You got it. You got it dog. Mm -hmm. Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense someone has a log they're eager to give you if you can help them. All right. Let's, let's, I'm, you know, honestly, I'm feeling captain. <laughs> I'm feeling a captain. Let's talk to captain. Consorting with old sea dogs, you might hear some tall tales from time to time. Treacherous sea monsters rendering a barky in two like it was snapping a toothpick. That sort of thing. But don't pay them no heed and listen well when I tell you where the real monsters lie. The real monsters are on the ship. Okay. <laughs> Cap has checked out for the night. <laughs> I get it. You don't have to tell me twice, Captain. You're done for the day. Uh, if I sell those shells, gross. <laughs> if I sell that stuff to Mr. Fox, ooh, hey, look at all that money. If I sell those shells to Mr. Kit, is his name, I'm sorry. Uh, how much, how, how much, what? Oh, that's a sweet potato. <laughs> what? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Sell it. I had money problems earlier. Now I don't. I need to buy this and it costs 250. Guess what? We got it. Alright, let's take this to good old good old Charlotte. <laughs> How much was that worth? Hang on, cause that was a moment. This <laughs> I saw this price and I was like, whoa! Wait, that's the wrong item. And then I went there. <laughs> Man, you know what? Forget this. We're gonna go get rich for a second. We're, I, I don't wanna put this game down just yet. I'm gonna be super honest. I don't wanna put it down just yet. We're gonna go get really rich. Really rich, really fast. This is, this is the thing that I kept running over. Pick that bad boy up. Is this one? No. I think I understand it now why I'm only supposed to play a few hours each day and not super grind it out. Okay. Understood. Because it's not going to give me a bunch of shells, that's for sure. That's for sure. I get it. And I'm okay with it. Keep me from playing this every... <laughs> Keep me from playing this all day. I don't need another game to play all day. Let's sell these while we're here. And then hopefully tomorrow... Select this one. Hopefully tomorrow there's more. So hopefully hopefully there's more tomorrow. So now we we got all money. And now let's talk to good old Charlotte. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. It seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into a true self. A ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot to let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? You got it. 
Uh, I think with that clock that it just posted, tomorrow starts at 4 a.m. I think that's what it was showing me. Or what it was telling me. Uh, so we're gonna put this... Wait. Oh, this is why I couldn't find the other recipes. Whoops. Press the wrong button. Pick this one up. Pick this one up. Now let's try that again. Learn recipe is this button. A stack of flower pots and a garden home. Cool. Um So we're gonna put the charm on the ground. It likes decoration, lamp, and rustic decor. Okay. So obviously that means that's what I need to put around it. Decoration lamps and rustic decor okay let's put that down right here oh not right here let's put it here hey look at that hi <laughs> hi young placid bird uh let's see let's pet the bird he wants a donut i want a donut uh, the creature seems to like me. What would I like to name it? I was gonna do a thing that says, um, you know what? It's an option. Maybe later. Let's look at more names. It won't let me type a name, but it generates names. You know what? I think that's so funny. <laughs> We're gonna call it Gaia. We're gonna call it Gaia. That's the D&D &D campaign that I'm, I'm a DM for. We're going to name this bird Gaia. That's so funny. Gaia, the young placid bird. That's so dope. Can I pet? Yeah, I'm going to pet her again. Alright. I think with that... Well, let's go back to Charlotte and see if she says anything. Oh. Nope, it's not going to be dick. Uh... I think that I think we can call it. We've done a lot on this on this first day. I don't want to run this game all the way out. So let's go ahead and call it here. Let's call it here. You guys report back tomorrow. Not tomorrow for me. Tomorrow for you. <laughs> tomorrow is a crazy day. Friday is always a crazy day. I will try to wake up early and play this early so that we get a different look instead of just like nighttime. Uh, but this is fun. I like this. It's fun. It's it's very low stakes. It doesn't seem like anybody can get hurt or broken or you can lose things. This is fun. This is fun. I haven't done an outro in a long time. I'm trying to remember how I do it. <laughs> I don't remember. We're just going to close it. Bye. <laughs>